Plumbing, roughing, electrical roughing, drywall's been hung. They're working on mudding and sanding and texturing right now. Doors are going in. I feel like so much more has been done. I think one of the fun things that I've enjoyed with you is the design aspect. Yes, um, because I suck at it. No, no you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm like, here you go, full reign. I Keep think, me in check. Yeah. Just like this morning, I'm like, look at all these ideas, and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not. Simmer down. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's one of the hardest things is like knowing when to like let something shine and then don't have 30 things that shine. Yes. Yeah. I like shiny things. <laughs> Okay, so coming up, we have we have texture that has to go up. So they're texture doing, first. I think yeah. we have a final coat of mud that goes on. So texture, and then our flooring goes in. We're putting the flooring in before we paint because we're gonna do the trim and the wall are gonna be the same color. Yeah, ceiling to floor, pretty much. And the same sheen. So we're gonna put the floors in so we can put the baseboards in and caulk it. Um, so then your painter can just come in. We'll tape off the floors and get it all done in one, one little shoot. Um, yes. The doors are fun, so you're gonna do the black doors. So that's the only thing, he'll be able to take the doors off and spray them in a separate room and that should come along fast. Then cabinets, yeah, it's, it's coming along before you know you have countertops. And then I'll be back in my house sleeping on a comfy bed in a warm, warm, dry, cozy. Quiet. Well designed and thought out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's really fun to see the transformation of the new walls that we like. We're like, oh, I wonder, you know, what this will look like opening up the hallway and adding this new entertainment wall and just seeing it come together has just been so awesome. We just can't wait till it's finished so we can enjoy it. So just kind of wanted to give a shout out to Moan Drywall, Mike Moan. Hi everybody. The one and only. We use him exclusively as our drywaller and have I think for like four years. About four years. Yeah. 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 Things are going well. So far so good. Yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to give him an opportunity to kind of educate you on some of the processes that he does. Um, I really just let Mike kind of like handle it. I'm like, Mike, drywall, fix it. So popcorn. I think popcorn was a big deal in this house. Absolutely. So. Uh, if you take a look at the ceiling really quick, you can you can tell there's some old, dated uh, sheetrock. But what we've done is we've blended it in with the new. With uh, with the popcorn removal, what we do is um, we treat it with white vinegar, and then we use uh, heated water. We heat the water a little bit uh, to kind of undo what was done, and it makes for like a cleaner scrape. But because of uh, doing the popcorn removal, what we do is we use uh, what's called like a Vestal, and uh, the Vestal is actually up here, but we, uh, Vestal, what it does is it cleans, uh, if you can check out the ceiling from doing the popcorn removal, it, it uh, sucks all the dust into the machine and it actually shoots out clean air, so um, as far as like a nice selling point for uh, a customer uh, and the dust, but also uh, you can tell the finished product smooth transition from uh, old to new, and then uh, we are on uh, just a nice a nice texture tomorrow. So yeah, that's pretty much pretty much the process, and if you will, it'll be show ready. Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> We'll just do our little walk around, our updated video. Uh, this was actually the door into the garage. So one of her children was living in the garage, but she wanted to make him feel a little bit more at home. So we, we incorporated all of this space into the garage. And here's our foreman, John. Hello. Hello, hello. He's putting in our doors, making sure everything looks good. So we've moved the exterior door from there to here. Um, utility closet is now 
a closet, not in the garage anymore. So we were able to keep that in the location and save the homeowner a bunch of money. Um, then we'll go this way. And now we're in the new dining room. So I think last time, I think you guys are kind of remember this, we were sitting here. So it kind of gives you a little reference point to where everything is. Um, one of the things that she changed uh, from her original plan is she wanted to do the fireplace, which is actually gonna be pretty sick. Um, we got the fireplace in on time to do all of her measurements. It's gonna be have like wrapped with a really nice stone um, that she picked out. Bunch of lighting going in. So we have eight six inch can lights um, that are roughed in right now. Island will be here, cabinets all around. One of the cool things that she did is she did a 40 inch sink. So she gets to kind of look out. It's kind of like farmy a little bit around the area. So, um, great views, so we really, really had to take advantage of that and keep everything. Uh, fun thing, especially with kind of our current climate with uh, shipping and plants being shut down is when you do a custom order, it takes forever. So in order to keep the process going and, and minimize our time, our timeline, uh, we'll do things like this. So instead of waiting to move on, to move on we'll just kind of, um, move along with the process and then kind of retrofit other things in. It takes a little bit more time, but at the end of the day, the customer gets the same product and it gets done faster. So again, she's worried about living in the trailer. So it's an easy thing that we can do to, to speed that process along. Something else that she changed, um, because she did a lot of additions with texture, um, we're adding beams, some faux beams. Um, we decided to kind of minimize uh, some design elements in other areas. So fridge will actually be here and then we're gonna tile up this wall with a really subdued tile. Um, it has a little bit of texture, it's white, subway, and then we'll do some open shelving. We did add, however, a couple of uh, spotlights up there that will be on some dimmers so we can kind of shoot that to those, um, to that open shelf that she's gonna have. So that'll look really great. Upstairs, so I think this used to be walls on both, yeah, it had walls on both sides, kind of pony walls. Uh, our flooring guy, Monday or Tuesday, will be here, uh, great with stairs, so he's just kind of a master at that, so I just let him have that. Donnie, uh, they'll be able to wrap around all the way through here. We reinforced this, her son is, um, I think, half monkey, so that was one of her concerns if she had railing that, um, left unsupervised that her son would tear them down if he uh, slid down them or anything like that. So reinforce that and once our flooring is in, our uh, railing fabricator will come and take measurements and be able to bolt it right, right to the floor and to the reinforced wall. Uh, closet removed here. So really opened up the area. There was already a nook. Um, so it's just kind of like a natural place to put the closet. So this is our kids' room. Uh, one of the other things that we did is we added a little bit of a design element with the windows doing the panels. Uh, it was a larger window, and to keep from having a custom order, again, lead time with getting special order windows, we went with a um, just a readily available size, and then we just closed it in a little bit. So we went with just a standard size. Uh, we did discover a little bit of rot outside, so it wasn't a big deal that we that we changed the window size because we already had to change the siding outside. So it was a great opportunity to kind of recoup some of our cost is going with the standard window. There we go. This is the primary bath. Um, during the demo, we did discover a little bit of rot in here, actually a lot of rot. So it was kind of like the perfect storm. It was a custom mud pan that was put in and this actually pretty much this first this last three feet is is cantilevered off of the of the house so the leak wasn't discovered at all because it started rotting the the soffit on the outside of the house uh, it'll be a pretty easy fix but uh, kind of just scares a lot of people it's it's a uh, it's definitely had a little had a little fungus growing, um, a little science experiment, but we'll be able to fix it and 
and get it going back. So again, you want to make sure you use great plumbers, great tile guys, um, because this is actually a pretty common, common thing that happens. One of the other things that she wanted um, was to put a pocket door in. It is, it is a pretty tight primary bath, so we really want to utilize as much space as we could. Um, our electricians were able to just take all of the, the lights and everything and just put it on the other side. So we'll be able to put a header in here and a pocket door. And we got lucky that we didn't have to move the vent. So that was a bonus. We'll take those wins when we can get them. So up next we have flooring, uh, paint, and a lot of the other finishing touches, cabinets, countertops. So look forward to that update. Yeah, so like I said, we're on day 33. So super fast progress, which I'm loving so I can get out of the trailer. Um, but yeah, I'm just super impressed and amazed at how fast the whole process has been. And I'm just blown away. Every day I come home from work and I'm so excited um, and our family's so excited. Every day when we get home, we do a walkthrough of the house and post a little update on Instagram uh, so that our friends and family can follow along. But that's like the highlight of our day right now. Will you wait until everybody's home and then we say, okay, it's house walkthrough time and uh, we all walk through the house and point out all the fun new things that have been added since the day before.